there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and I'm just so excited. I had to do a follow-up on my gelatin printmaking video from yesterday. Of course, after I turned the camera off, I had some fabulous prints that um, that I wanted to share. Oh, I did do that one on the video yesterday, but like this, I took one of the old prints and I printed something else on top. And you know, I got a lot of comments, and mostly they had to do with, hey, uh, Lindsay, how long can I preserve these? I mean, is this just going to rot or spoil or mold on me in a couple of days? Well, you'll have a couple of weeks on your gelatin plate uh, to make it work. But then I did some experimenting because I don't like to throw things away. I like things to be very useful. And of course, with that fabulous um, jelly plate that's on the market for, I don't know, 20 bucks or something, um, I really wanted to make something kind of like that. And I remembered back to a Boy Scout trip that I chaperoned a couple of months ago. We went to see a real scientist and we made milk uh, into plastic. We made plastic from milk. It was pretty crazy. So I asked the scientist if um, if I could do that with gelatin. He said, yeah, sure. You just need this plasticizer and heat. So I did a little research on the net. Yes, I did. And I made some plastic gelatin. So let's just have a look-see at this, shall we? Oh, by the way, the uh, this is one that I did yesterday that I overprinted. Fun, 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 fun. This was a little uh, kind of cleaning off my plate one. Isn't that kind of cool? All right. So why don't we just get right to the uh, to the making of the plastic gelatin plate. So um, here is what I have left from, I actually trimmed down my plate from yesterday. That's the traditional gelatin plate, just basically like a big old jello jiggler. Make your jigglers there. All right, so what I did was um, instead of using just gelatin and water, so I started off, for this experiment, I used the gelatin. Um, I made a small batch because I didn't know if it was going to work. So I used four packets of gelatin, which is roughly four tablespoons. I used um, one and a half cups of water. I used one cup of alcohol, rubbing alcohol just from your, you know, medicine cabinet. And I used half a cup of glycerin. Um, so basically, you know what I'm making here? Making gelatin plastic, but I'm also making a hectograph. Do you remember the old fashioned um, mimeograph machines you could make and make all kinds of of copies. You can even still get hectograph pencils and you can actually write on a piece of paper and lay it on the plate for a couple hours, peel it off, and then you can make how many copies? A hundred copies with a treated um, with a treated paper. It's pretty cool. Hecta means hundred, graph means to print something, I guess. I'm not a scientist or an English major, but I did some experimenting. So you're going to see me unveil this gelatin plate. Well, actually, I made it yesterday, and I checked it out, and it worked, except I shifted it. I moved it when I was setting it up, so it was uneven. So then I thought, hmm, I wonder if I can rescue this. So I took my little experiment, my, um, you know, uneven gelatin plate, the uh, plastic gelatin. I popped it in the microwave for a minute on high, and I melted it. And lo and behold, it melted, and I was able to reset it up. I actually cut off some of the pieces of that plate and threw it in there, too, and melted that right down. I am just, so, you know, it just goes to show you your proportions do not have to be exact. Just make sure you have um, about two tablespoons of gelatin for every cup of liquid you have and you'll be fine and cherry wine. So we're going to flip this over onto our plexiglass here. I'm talking a mile a minute. I'm so very excited about this. Now I'm gingerly going to use this butter knife to ease one of the edges out here so I can get it to release. Once you get the air in there, once you just kind of break that seal, it'll pop right out. Whoa, there we go, where it's coming, there we go. All right, and there is my new gelatin plate. Let me just drop the tripod down a little bit. I apologize if this is a little rough. Um, this is the camera that I dropped that doesn't focus too well at a distance, but it's nice and um, rubbery and jelly and just fabulous. And I think if I did it again, I would have, uh, um, because this I did melt some of this gelatin plate down and put it in there, um, I would actually have, a little bit more gelatin and a little bit more. So you just want to make sure you have half of your mixture is the alcohol and glycerin mix. The other half is water and then you use your gelatin. So I will put that recipe in the show more section. So look under the video. Hopefully that's pointing under the video and not over the video. I don't know. Look under the video on YouTube. I'll have the recipe there. I'll put the recipe on my blog. Now let's try this bad boy out, shall we? I think we shall. Wow. I'm just all excited today. And again, I apologize if any of this is out of focus. Um, that's what happens when you drop your video camera, apparently. So I'm just going to put a little inky inky on here. It's actually just acrylic paint, nothing fancy smancy. Use your, uh, the cheap stuff from the craft store actually works about the best as anything else, which is awesome when that happens, when your 40, 40 cent bottle of paint works as well as a, you know, $5 bottle of paint, if not better. 
And what else do we want here for colour? How about a little yellow? A little yellow colour. Oh, I'm just, uh, I'm awfully entertaining, aren't I? <laughs> all right. So I mentioned this on my blog yesterday, but I know not all YouTube people read my blog. Why not, people? I've always put the link. I've always put the link under the video. Um, but so I left a lovely link to my friend Mary Ann's blog. Her blog is scrappy sticky inky mess dot blog. No, dot WordPress, WordPress.com. And she had this great tip on her blog a couple months ago because she uses that jelly plate. Um, she took fun foam and cut it with her decorative scissors. And I just thought that was the best thing I've seen since sliced bread. So I had to make some of these fabulous little tools. So I'm actually going to try them out for the first time. Look at that. I can make wiggly little lines. If you haven't realized I'm very easily amused. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, it's just very fun. All right, now I need something to print on. I think I'm going to print over this print I made yesterday. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. My troubles are pretty far away now. And there we go. We got our first print there. That's pretty fun. Now let's see what else do we want to do. We still got quite a bit of ink there, but I think I'm going to spread it out. I know you watched me do this yesterday. I'm just so very amused. But I have to keep, I have to keep, I just can't leave it alone. If I've got ink in front of me and a gelatin plate, I just can't resist myself. So the cool thing about this is that if um, I do something and wreck the surface of this, uh, I simply stick it right back in that tray, this tray right here. And I pop it in the microwave for a minute, melt it down, and um, and I'm good to go again. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Well, this might look like little butterflies when I'm done. Let's just see. Let's take a let's take a look. See at that. Let's see if I can find a piece of paper. <laughs> oh, quick of the fire! I got paper. Awesome. Let's see what this looks like. Because honestly, I'm just kind of playing with this, making sure it works. It works! Yay! It's exciting. I'm easily amused. So, um, so there you have it. This is a plastic gelatin plate. It's going to last longer. It's not going to spoil. Oh, this is a science, by the way. I want to tell you the science because if you have kids, you might want to teach them something. Um, the science is when you're turning something into a plastic, basically you've, uh, you know, I'm not a scientist, but you know, I, so I'm going to break this down to layman's terms pretty easily because I am definitely a layman. So pr pretend this is just my hands or some gelatin. Ooh, I'm gelatin. I'm gelatin. I'm a big glob of molecules globbing around in this gelatin print. Well, when you add something like a plasticizer, like glycerin or alcohol, you take that big jumble of molecules and you stretch them out to a long, skinny line. So when bacteria comes along, do 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 bacteria looking for its an easy meal, it doesn't recognize this as food. So it goes on its merry way. It will not rot this plate. So that's what happens. Bacteria doesn't understand that this is gelatin anymore, so that's why it doesn't rot and break down. It's also why um, alcohol and vinegar and things like that are used as preservatives because it tricks the bacteria into eating the food. At least that's my theory anyway. So let's, why don't we just make another little print here? Oh, my ink is drying on me. I'm going to just press this in. I'm gonna, this is something else that's kind of fun to do, like brayer over, like rubber bands or um, stencils, just kind of press to impress the texture into something. I don't have very much ink on there, but we're going to see what we can do here with uh, about printing this. We're going to give it a, we're going to give it the old college try. Considering where I went to college, it's not that much of a try. <laughs> no offense if anybody that went to college with me is watching this. Oops, I still have that rubber band on there. So there, that's just a little something else you can do. All right, I just had to share that because I wanted to make sure that anybody that was um, thinking about making the plates, if they want to make a more durable version, just substitute some of the water for alcohol and glycerin if you have it. Honestly, I think, I don't think the ratios matter too much as long as you keep two tablespoons of gelatin for every one cup of liquid. Okay, you got that? I will post the recipe on my blog and on my YouTube show more section of the video. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day. Until next time, happy crafting.